So limiting temptation coping skills are like this video where the bottle's getting shaken up, you know it's getting shaken up, right? And you are able to not open it right away. Your cup's not overflowing yet. You're actually able to set it aside, try some of the limited temptation coping skills, and move on, right? Buying time coping skills are different, right? Buying time coping skills are for when you're already starting to overflow. When there's high emotions, you're upset at somebody, um, and you need to do something right now. And either that something is going to be an explosion where you just open the cap and go off, or you slowly twist the cap by using your buying time coping skills. So that's the big difference. Lim limiting temptation coping skills are for when you still have a little bit of control, when you still can make that choice to just set the bottle aside. When you're past that, when you can't make that choice anymore, when you're already starting to overflow a bit, that's when those buying time coping skills are uh, meant for you to kick in.